everyone, welcome back. So this video is going to be a reaction to Morissette singing Emotions by Mariah Carey. This is like the song that people try to sing by Mariah Carey and like 99% of them completely fail because they try to hit that whistle note, you know, on the word inside and it always comes out terribly. I've only heard one cover of Emotions that was spectacular and that was Ariana Grande. So with that being said, we're just going to jump into this reaction right now because the only person that I think that can either match Ariana Grande or exceed Ariana Grande's vocal ability would be this lovely lady named Morissette. So here we go. She looks so cute. She looks so young, too. You Just going off of what I've heard so far, I don't think she's going to have a problem hitting that whistle note. I've heard her hit whistle notes, and the note she hits in Akin Kanalang is an A6, which is ridiculous. So I don't think she'll have a problem hitting this note because I, I, I think she'll I think she'll be fine. Here we go. There it is. Go, girlfriend. I like, I like how she's singing the word emotions. She puts like two really fast cry breaks in there. She puts two little vocal breaks in there. Like, I haven't heard anybody else do that. And that's... That's a nice like signature touch she's putting onto the song and it just sounds so nice. It doesn't sound forced, it just comes out and <gasps> just gives the song something extra, I think. I like that she decided to do that in full voice instead of the other whistle. I don't know why, I just do. Maybe she was trying to preserve her voice because doing those whistle notes is, is a lot. So to constantly do the whistle notes I think could potentially damage your vocal cords. I don't know. I mean, if you're using proper technique, I think you would have to do it like a lot to damage your vocal cords. But if you don't have to do it, then, then don't. So I like that she did the, the full voice there. It was, I was expecting the whistle, but I was pleasantly surprised that she did not do the whistle.
Man. That was... Oh. And she, how high were those heels? Those heels looked like they were at least four or five inches. I would have fallen on my face. And then she's also in a pencil skirt. I couldn't... Nope. Just the pencil skirt alone, I think I probably would have fallen on my face. And then you add like an extra five inches to my height with, you know, little teeny tiny pencil-like heel. Mm-mm. I wouldn't have made it. I had heard her whistle before um, in Akin Kanalang. So I knew that she could do them and I knew she could go freakishly high. But I know the that high note, I know that whistle note in emotions is, is really really high. Carrie's vocal range spans more than four octaves on the track from a C3 to an E7 with the highest note being sung with arpeggios. Yup. That's an entire octave and then like a few more notes from her whistle note in Akin Kanalang which is already high and then she just throws in another octave of whistle notes and Oh my gosh. She needs more recognition. I'm telling you. She needs to like cross over into the US. She needs to cross over into the UK. She needs to just be known everywhere because she's phenomenal. I can't get enough of her. She's just so amazing. So that's been it for this video. If you like these kinds of videos, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.